There we go. We're recording. Take it away. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so I will just open, I will just share my screen. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I have uh, Adam created one issue which I will track all the, I mean, I will keep a list of all the issues and uh, steps that are needed over here and uh, just link the corresponding issues to it. And apart from that, so for this, the documentation, uh, documenting the tutorial for running basics has been done. So uh, probably you can review the PR and yeah, let me know if any changes are required, but I made the changes that you told regarding keep one microservice and uh, 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 based on that uh, trigger the sequences, yeah, okay. And for this, uh, does job executor service support multiple commands? So I tried using uh, different different uh, commands and uh, trying to see if it's running or not, but uh, it was failing. I was getting this error, but this error was of uh, K6 and not uh, captain. Okay. So yeah, basically I ran this command and I also ran and uh, echo genome log with uh, the uh, so echo genome lock and ampersand ampersand k6 run this command so over here for this we are able uh, it's running successfully but it is giving this output so uh, basically it's taking the all the arguments as a single so it won't uh, consider ampersand ampersand so uh, the same way we are getting this error over here uh, this error is also corresponding to only one argument is given, uh, should be given to K6, but over here it takes M% and uh, following command also. So it reaches fine. So that's the issue. So we won't be able to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, there is another way I've, I've thought about. Uh, have a look at the job executor service. It can copy. So for, for anyone else watching this after the fact, uh, the reason we want to do this is because K6, um, the previous meeting we discussed with Pepe, K6 can build custom versions of uh, K6 with extensions. So what we want to do is basically, as this task runs inside that container, build a version of K6 with any extension that you choose and then run it. So um, what I suggest you look at Jainam uh, for next time is the job executor can, service can copy files into the container when it starts up. So maybe you use that mechanism in, in some, I don't, I don't want to give it away. I want you to kind of mm -hmm. discover and find but, out. But, okay. But yeah. Away. Copy files as in uh, files or directly binaries only. Have, have a look at the job executor service. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there are some other, uh, uh, method, but yeah, I will take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Okay, cool. It might it might not be possible. It's just off the top of my head, it might be a way forward. Mm, yeah, but but um, the other that command you've got that echo or you know do something x k six build and and k six run. That's that's mm -hmm. I think I think that's what we're gonna need eventually. Um, we need this. I mean, we need to run multiple this right. So. But I mean, for for building the so for building a, a K6 extension using XK6, we will have to use for I mean follow these steps. Uh, have a GoLang image and then install case XK6 first, and then use XK6 to build some extension, and then you use that XK6. So we will have to use this M percent, and if it's taking the arguments as a whole, then probably you won't be able to do that. Right? But yeah, okay, I will have to take a look at that also. I mean, I, I tried using this, I, I tried building, a, taking a golden image and uh, trying to build, uh, install XK6 first and then running this, but it was also giving me error on it. So, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think, by the way, if you flick back to that, I don't think you're a million miles away. Um, I think we just obviously, as you've seen, what it's doing is it's it's running Go, and then it's just mm. sticking all the args on the end. Um, I, I think that's very close. Using that Golang image, and then a slightly different command. Uh, I just I, I'm just hinting, but um, I don't want to give it away. But but that 
I would I would start with this and I would progress from there um, and, and, and have a think about what else you could you could do in, in that space. Hmm. Of course, you could always pre-build an XK6 image and yeah, just yeah, yeah. store it in your Docker repo. Um, hmm. but, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we can do that. But in the end also, so for that, if, if we, even if we are doing that, then we are having XK6 directly over there. Then after that, to use XK6, we will have to uh, first build and build the K6 extension. And anyways, we will run into this M% percent, M% percent, right? Yeah. So yeah. that will be the case. And oh, sorry, after, I... Uh, I mean... Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, so I mean, we will uh, anyways be going to X M percent M percent. Other way could be directly build the K uh, six extension Docker image itself and uh, import that only. And do, yeah, do, does K six not provide a pre built X K six binary that we could use? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked that because my thought there is. We take that pre-built, if there is one, we take that pre-built binary and we store it in our Git repo and copy it into the container. And then you don't have to do all of that Golang building. All you do is you run X, because XK6, the binary is already in your job execute service container and you just run XK6 build. Yeah. Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. You'd still need to yeah, do that. Yeah, but after that, run. we'll have yeah. to do that dot K6. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. directly build that uh, K6 uh, image. But I mean, for most of the K6 extensions, they are not, uh, I mean, they don't have this uh, image published from their end of, uh, that they don't have any official image of that extension. So there we will be, uh, yeah, I mean, there the problem will arise. But Chill. So, I mean, if we are anyways, if we are having that, then this will, then we don't have to worry about running multiple commands directly use that K6 only. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I was just thinking of some other ways that we can do this. So, so last time we discussed regarding uh, keeping this into a, so user, what user will do, user will keep this into the file structure, the keep, keep this binary into file structure and uh, directly use that from that location, right? But uh, so basically uh, provide everything into the config of uh, K6 service itself. But uh, could we do anything like uh, building this on our side itself? I mean, whenever we are deploying this service, uh, we can if we can pass any parameters or something or ask user itself to uh, keep a file and uh, basically install this and set up this service itself and instead of using the default k6 we will switch to this k6 yeah so you, you could, i mean yeah. yeah i am not completely you know i, I was just uh, looking into the uh, i mean how helm works and all that so i was i'm, I'm a little new to this but so I, I thought that the first step would be spinning up the service in Kubernetes cluster using Elm, but I guess this, that will be the last step. And the first step should be this instead, right? Uh, listen to ca captains, uh, this cloud event, right? And uh, print some logs on the console. Uh, talking about the K6 service as a separate service. So probably, I mean, yeah, this we could do. And so I, I mean, I'm, I'm even I'm not completely sure how we will be building this image while when we are deploying and uh, uh, how basically enabling user to use an extension doing this. So even I will have to take a look into this. But yeah, I mean, this is a thought that I came across. So yeah. I mean, the issue of the uh, the issue of use asking user to put binary into a particular location will be, uh, and that binary won't be, comp uh, I mean, couldn't be compatible with, I, I'm using a MacBook and the pod could be running into a Linux, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Linux machine. So probably there it, it would fail. So that issue of building the, I mean, building on our side, but asking the user to probably give some config in Helm or something. I am, I'm not sure, but yeah, I will have to take a look into that. I, I agree. I think um, 
wherever possible, I think we should follow K6's best practice guidelines. Because um, if we go rogue and kind of go off on our own little way of doing things, yeah. Um, yeah. we've got to maintain that. So if we can follow their, their be- you know, they're the experts on K6. So let, let's let's trust them and, f- and follow their their guidance. And and that certainly seems like uh, X K6. So let's let's forge ahead with that path first. And until mm-hmm. we get to a point, if we get to a point where it's just we can't do it, um, then we yeah. can we can ask Pepe. But um, I'm quietly hopeful that we can achieve this. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So, I mean, uh, I even I will have to start. Uh, I mean, for the first step will be this only, right? Just uh, use a normal K6 um, binary and uh, execute the ta- ta- execute test using that. So in in the service. So the first step for that new service will be just listening to this uh, captain event and then send a finished event and then start running. So probably that should be the flow, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and in parallel, I will also keep on looking on how we can ask the user itself to build this binary. Yeah. Um, now, Brad McCoy, uh, who's another GSOC mentor, had a very good um, idea because he's mentoring the Flux project. And he yeah. suggested what we do uh, when when each of the projects are at a certain maturity uh, and they're ready to go, we actually link them. Because if you think Flux can do the deployment or mm-hmm. Argo can do the pl- deployment or whatever tool, but in this case, Flux, because they're working on it. And as soon as the deployment is done, we can then trigger our K6 to do a load test. And then mm-hmm. we can use Captain to do the quality evaluation. So it's, it's kind, of, kind of a nice story that he's, he's come up with. So um, I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to, to seeing that progress. That, that sounds good. Mm, yeah, that will be also good. Uh, I missed the last community meeting probably because I will have to add to my calendar. calendar but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too. Uh, yeah. OK. Uh, Miha, you're very quiet on mute. There. Did you have any questions on what we're trying to do or, or doing? Nope. Okay. Um, cool. I guess no, I don't have anything more to add right now. But yeah, I will start working on this. And yeah, if you have any um uh, any initial setup kind of thing for me for uh for basically adding it into the git rep of the k6 service itself like uh, there are some checks and some linting and all this that we are doing the i mean that captain is also following and checking that the commit each commit has been signed off and all that so i will also look at that and add it over here but yeah, if you feel that any more thing that we could add, then yeah. okay. No, I think the important thing, apart from the technical stuff, the important thing is um, the documentation. As we've seen with the Captain project itself, and, and any project, to be honest, uh, if we don't get good documentation, then you, no matter how good this is, users won't be able mm-hmm. to figure it out and use it. So. Um, um, I, I, as I say, I had a look at the other PR um, and suggest some changes and 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 but it, yeah. the, the content there looked really really good. Accept that that feedback. Um, so I'll review that other PR. I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely perfect. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm really really. I, I hope you're happy with progress as well. Um, yeah. Because I, th- I think we've we've come a long way. I think I heard we're at about the halfway point of the project. I believe. Uh. Um, Half the point will be in July after one month. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I don't know where I heard that from. Then that's nice. We got a bit more time. Yeah. Awesome. Um. Well, respectful of people's times. If there's nothing else, then um. Yeah, we'll we'll wrap up there. And uh, yeah, nice job. Nice job. And Miha, if you have any thoughts or you want to get involved, um, please reach out to Jana as the lead on this. Yeah. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining. Cool. Bye.
Thanks a lot. Bye, everyone.